like the speed of sound We can keep on the ground What's good YouTube? Easy now 1337 aka Snow here today with a voice tutorial for Bender from Futurama. Now guys I think I've made my mind up on what I want to do with my channel. I am going to from here on out do one video a day in the weekdays and um, a couple on the weekend on each day. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to do more voice tutorials to help people make better emblems and for me to make better emblems to be honest because I think I would have I think my rebuilds have been a bit sloppy lately so I figure if I take my time, talk through it, it will be a better emblem. So today we're going to make Bender. All you want to do is jump in and grab a semicircle, change it black, make it smaller. There's not much um, skewering, skewering on this one so that's a good thing. Grab a round square, change it black, make it smaller. This is going to act as his mouth. If you want to skew it a little bit bring it to the left and down a little bit just to make it even and there you go that's part of his mouth done already duplicate this first layer by pressing select or back moving up to the third layer and pressing start and that's the same on playstation as far as i know i don't have a playstation so i couldn't say change it to this color peachy orangey yellow type thing I don't know. make it smaller just so that his mouth's got an outline and do the same with the round square This time you'll have to move it over to the left a little bit and, and use the skewer to the right until you just get it into a nice little position. Try and touch the white line all the way to the edge of the black so you don't see any black on the right. It just makes it look better. Let me just fiddle with that. And there we go, sorted. Grab curve lines, which are on this page change them black and we're going to stretch them out to be his mm, teeth as to say put them at a bit of an angle just so it looks a bit I don't know just a bit better duplicate them and keep duplicating them and turning them make these ones more straight up instead of at a curve And there we go, there's his teeth sorted. So now what we want to move on to is the bits around his mouth, his lips as to say. So you can pretty much grab anything you want for this, but I'm just going to grab this looking thing over here, change it to grey. Um, a light grey, let's say this one here. And these are going to be like his lips. So they need to be past his mouth to the right a little bit so they're sticking out. And move them all the way to the bottom, just like so. Duplicate it move it up and we'll do the top as well I'm just gonna make this one a bit thinner so I can just see what I'm doing above and there we go so there's his mouth sorted Let me just fiddle with that a bit nice it's looking nice now what next okay so let's do his head grab a semicircle Change it to that same grey and move it off. So you sort of want the front end of his head to be pretty much in line with where his mouth ends. So when you skewer it, go up and to the left just a little bit, just to change the shape a little tiny bit. Have it going out the screen a little bit if you want, or move it down if you want, that's just totally up to you should make his mouth a bit wider to be honest but you can edit that how you feel and what we're going to do now is grab this this time though we're going to go for a darker grey this one here stretch it out and this is going to be just a shadow on the back of his head and we're going to move this down move it down below the mouth but above the other greys just like so. Grab a triangle looking thing, is this what I used? I think so. Change it to that dark grey as well. 
spin it around, flip it, and just make it fit across the side of his head. Just like that. Let me just change the colour of that so you can see. There you go. And now we're going to work on his eyes. Now his eyes can be a bit fiddly and difficult, but definitely do look good. So when you skew it, you want to go down and to the left a little bit. And we're just going to do the same thing we've done before, but build it slightly bit different. When you skewer this side one, move it to the left so it's a bit thinner. Just for perspective issues. And once again, grab this rounded square, put it across the middle. Skew it by going up and right until you just get it all in line perfectly. And now what you want to do is duplicate those layers, all three of them, and make them the same grey as the first grey you chose. The black just acts as an outline just to separate it from the actual head. Which is what you want because otherwise you won't be able to distinguish where the eyes are. And same for this one here. And there you go, there's his eyes sorted. But once again you're going to have to duplicate them and make them smaller and black again. Because now we're going to do the inside of his eyes. So for this, you want to use up and left on this skewer, make it to pretty much a, a normal semicircle again. And on this side, up and left again, make it thinner, just like you did before. This is all personal preference, so you do it how you want to do it, guys. That is the point in these emblems, like, we upload these emblems just as a guide, as a tutorial. It's up to you to do what you want to do with them, you know what I mean? That's why I don't think I cared about my rebuilds if they were sloppy enough because I thought well people can just look at what I'm doing and then make their own but I thought no that's not good enough if I'm a big YouTuber I should be doing stuff right. Now we're going to grab the eyes, D don't matter if it overlaps a little bit, I'll show you why in a second. So make that one black, duplicate it, make it white and just make it a bit smaller. This is just going to act as a break, a break between the two eyes. So once you duplicate that layer, pull it down below the black, and as you can see right there, now now two eyeballs are really really good. Almost done now. Grab this rounded square again, make it a lot smaller, and these are just going to act as his pupils. And fix his mouth after as well. There we go, now we need to cover those eyeballs, so grab this, make it smaller, and we're going to stretch it, skew it up and left again, until you pretty much line up the entire bottom of his eye there. So I got mine perfect there, duplicate it, change it to the original grey we had, no that's not the original grey we had, <coughs> right there. Now to skew this one you're going to have to go up and left again and just basically cut out the middle but leave a black line above and below. Like so. And that covers the bottom of the eyes so it looks like his eyes are actually in his head. And I just realised I've got the wrong grey for around his eyes so if I just... I'll just leave it for now but you can then do what you want to do guys. Okay so the mouth, yeah that's what I wanted to do, fix the mouth. So his mouth should definitely be over to the left a bit more. And possibly just a little bit bigger. This is just basically making it a bit bigger, no extra skewering or anything, so don't worry about it. But just experiment, play around with it, find what you think is best. 
and use it. I think this is probably the best bender online at the moment. Not to brag or anything, but a couple of ones I've seen the eyes have been a bit weird. I don't mind don't look perfect there, but <laughs> let me just do a couple of finishing touches. Try and make the outlines as small as possible just so that they don't look too obvious. Okay, let's, I'm going to change that to the actual grey that we're using. Actually, that was pretty good. I like that. Like a shadow on the back of his eyes. No, stop moving the layer up and down. Jeez. <laughs> I'm going to change that to that grey. And where's the face gone? That looks a bit better. I like that better. There you go, that's Bender done guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Play around with it, add from it, take away from it, you know, the usual the usual stuff. Make it to how you want to make it and how you like it. But I hope that's a good enough... Um... Let me just try something here. Maybe this will work. Maybe it won't. Change the opacity down. See, just a little touch like that just makes him look a bit shinier on top of his head. And that's just by putting a scribble in, stretching it and skewering it to how you like and turning your opacity there. So yeah, that's Bender done anyway, guys. I'm going to definitely be doing more um, voice tutorials and I hope you look forward to them. That's me done for today, guys. Number two source for Black Ops Emblems. Peace out. Take care. Uh,